Hey guys, it's Steve. In today's video, we're talking about dividend stock investing and why you should be investing in Starbucks. Okay, you guys, let's get right into the video. Starbucks Triple Shot Energy. What gives you energy? All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be starting with uh, company history. We're going to be talking about Starbucks brands. We're going to be talking about the financials. We're going to be looking at the cash flow statement. We're going to be looking at their assets. Um, I also have uh, been wanting to talk a lot about kind of their dominance in the retail space. And so we got a lot to cover in this video. So please uh, stick tight, hang in there. And if you find any value, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Looking forward to seeing you guys. Uh, in the next video. And with that, hey, let's get right into a clip of uh, CEO Kevin Johnson. There's no cup shortage at Starbucks. I don't know how that story got uh, got started, but we've got uh, plenty of, of our hot cups and our cold cups. And as you said, we just reintroduced uh, reusable cups uh, that we had, had paused during the pandemic for, for safety reasons. But, uh, you know, customers are back in our stores. Demand is strong and we've got plenty of cups uh, to serve them. Uh, Starbucks Kevin Johnson on Mad Money last night talking about supply chain issues. Jim cuts, you like your porridge warm, you like it cold, you like it too hot. I mean, who really cares, right? I mean, I get it. It's like we're talking about a cup shortage, you know, supply chain issues, like we get it. But I just kind of think that's kind of funny because you can see there a high profile CEO has got to go on to uh, a news outlet to basically tell the public, hey, look, no, we don't have a cup shortage. So I just thought that was kind of funny, like that that's all they talked about. So anyways, hey, Starbucks, here's the logo, fresh, bright, you got the Starbucks chick, you know, she's all happy. She's like this uh, mythical creature from the sea, from the Puget Sound of Washington. Um, if you go back, if you stay with me at the end of uh, this segment here, um, you're going to see uh, kind of what the first uh, logo looked like. Uh, pretty cool. So, hey, let's get into, um, you guys, a little bit of the um, Starbucks history. Um, you guys just... Pretty simple stuff. I mean, this company is a, just a global dominant player in the coffee retail space. Um, they have a total of 32,660 stores. Um, you guys, it's headquartered uh, in Seattle, Washington. It was, it was founded in 1971, uh, which was 50 years ago. And you guys, this is a company literally where it was a couple of guys in a cart at uh, Pike's Place Market in downtown Seattle. Um, just selling coffee to um, folks, you know, business uh, people who were downtown working, and it has grown into the conglomerate of this um, company that it is today. So really fascinating. Um, take a look. There's the original Starbucks um, at Pike's Place Market. There's one of their distributor trucks. Pretty cool. There's the old logo um, right there on the truck. Fresh roasted daily in Seattle. Retail, wholesale and restaurants so how did this coffee company that just started like any boutique coffee company become this massive conglomerate well it's because they have successfully uh marketed branded and distributed a breadth of products so i want to talk about these products because we all know about most of them um, but some of these you guys might not know for instance um did you know that uh, Starbucks is getting into the iced coffee space up there in the upper right hand, that medium roast? Um, they started out, uh, you know, with the Frappuccino drinks. Now these uh, vanilla double shot energy drinks are super popular. Um, the espresso shots, um, you know, uh, Starbucks was also really quick to adapt, you guys, to the Keurig um, coffee trend. And I think that's something that I like a lot about Starbucks is how fast they adapt to what consumers want. And so the consumers want convenience. So sure enough, Starbucks adapted and got their own uh, Kira cups ready to go. They're, they're going right into the instant space. Um, so if you guys know anything about retail is that when you're looking at the shelf at the grocery store, like there at the upper left, you've got instant coffee, you've got ground coffee, you've got whole beans, um, and you've also got the instant category. And now Starbucks wasn't ever really in the instant because there were kind of a lot of just like, I don't know how to say it, but just like crappy companies. Um, and there also are some really good um, like international brand companies that are actually like really good instant coffee brands. 
But Starbucks is now in that space. And now, of course, everybody knows about the pumpkin spice latte. Now you can literally buy it in a bottle. Uh, there's plenty of merch, okay? Ben, the Ben There series, you know, oh, you gotta have a mug. Every state, just gotta have it. There's the Alaska mug. I don't have it. I don't know why, I should. Um, and now, just full on retail dominance. I mean, look at that, look at the channel, guys. I mean, I mean, full size, bright end cap. It's got the Starbucks logo. All the ground coffee you can imagine. Look at all that fancy merch, bunch of uh, mugs. It's got like an interactive display. Uh, it's probably telling you where the, the coffee beans come from around the world. So it's just, this is just a segment of like, you guys, if you, when you understand a company, and you're, and you're learning about a company, you have to understand their products. So I, I put this collage together. I learned a little bit about each, each product and I think it's really important. Okay, so you guys, let's move on to looking at where Starbucks is, is priced at today in the market. It's priced at 116 bucks, 76 cents per share. This was, um, this was actually last Friday and it's at a pretty wild range. So recently it was just at 126 bucks. Um, you guys were just, you know, precursor just had amazing um, Q3 earnings. You can see there had a rise um, not too recently, and then it's kind of come down a little bit. And what I like to do is I always like to compare it against the S&P 500, and I like to click out to just the year to date. So that's about six months, and you're seeing the S&P steadily rise, and then you can see Starbucks kind of had um, a bit of a little uh, a little bump there, um, you know, five percent down, kind of in the early part of the year. Um, but I'm I'm thinking this is a, this is a buy. I mean, I saw Starbucks when it was um, in the high 80s, low 90s, and I wish I would have bought bought some, bought some more. And uh, you know, I think that. Um, you know, I kind of waited and I waited and now it's just like, this is just a, to me, this is a consumer recovery play. And I think that, um, I think that it's overpriced, um, but I think it's got a, there's a lot of value there. And this is just a company that's just, it's just growing like mad. So, um, okay. Now with that, you guys, we're going to jump into the financials. So, um, thanks for sticking in there. If you like this video so far, Hey, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. going to be dishing out more dividend stock investing, uh, videos like this, where we talk a lot about, yeah, the company, the history, the brands, the products. And then, uh, as of right now, we're going to get right into the financials and start talking about the dividend. All right, guys, looking at the dividend summary, we're seeing a dividend forward yield of one and a half percent. The payout ratio is at 55 and a half percent, and they've been growing that dividend at a 17.6 percent uh, growth rate, five year average. That's super high growth. They've been growing it for 11 years, you guys. They just paid, um, or they will be paying their dividend on the 27th. If you bought before the ex dividend date, before the 11th, you will qualify for the payment date that's on the 27th. All right, guys, looking at um, the Q3 report, I dug into the financials and here's what I want you guys to know. I want you to know that in Q3, they had net revenues were up 78% to a record $7.5 billion. You guys, that's a lot of coffee. And also that's not just coffee, that's a lot of merch, okay? So FYI, this is what merch looks like, all right? It's tumblers, it's cute mugs, it's all that fluffy foo-foo stuff that just makes you know every little teenager just want to pick it up off the shelf. And quite frankly, you know, it's cool. It's, it's just cool stuff. So look, they're, they're, they're up, they're up big time, okay? You guys, this guy, these, this company is just flourishing right now and it's just, it's just insane. I mean, Active Starbucks Rewards membership in the US is up 48% year over year to 24.2 million. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been getting a lot of emails from Starbucks. So, I mean, they're, they're onto something. All right, you guys, moving on to the balance sheet. So the balance sheet, you guys, shows assets and liabilities. It basically shows what does a company own uh, that's worth something and what do they own that's not. So the big picture is you look at the current assets, they have $29,476,000,000 in assets. You guys, that's that's a pot of gold. That's that's a pot. So, And then you go down to the liabilities and you take a look and now 
you can you can go into the deep end of the pool, you guys, if you want. I'm not going to right now because I just I'm a big picture thinker, and I think as an investor, as long as you're thinking of the big picture and you know the story of a company, Peter Lynch really talks about the uh, the story, and you kind of know where the company is going. Um, that's that's quite frankly that's kind of good enough. So the total liabilities is 36 billion 271 million. So they they have more liabilities than they than they do assets. So you know, you kind of take a look into that and like, why? Like, what's going on? Well, they have 13 billion in long-term debt, and um, they also have 7 billion in operating lease liabilities. So that might be something to kind of, you know, kind of poke your head in, maybe learn a little bit more about. Like, okay, why, why, why the big debt? What are they, what are they purchasing right now? What are they taking on? Are they, are they building new buildings? Are they, are they building, you know, new coffee shops? Like, kind of what's going on there? Um, that's definitely worth worth looking at. Guys, next is the statement of cash flows. And so basically what this is telling us is how much cash uh, the business is bringing in. I mean, basically every for-profit company is in business to uh, make money and they do that by by bringing in cash. So there's a lot of uh, line items here. You guys can uh, kind of get into the deep end of the pool if you like, but I just want to show you like at the end of the period, uh, Starbucks is cash flow positive. They're bringing in, uh, or they brought in for the quarter uh, four billion seven hundred fifty three million dollars worth of cash that is the video thanks for sticking with it hopefully you got some knowledge out of here you learned a little bit about starbucks something that you maybe hadn't known before and uh, now you can kind of look at this and say okay do i think starbucks is a fair value high value is it a company that i want to invest in for the future all right you guys hey like the video subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thanks